Welcome to Exploring the Ozarks, where we explore people, places, and the local history. And here's Matt. Thanks, David. We appreciate that. And uh, welcome, everybody, to the Exploring the Ozarks podcast. Uh, Everybody that's tuning in, uh, you can find us on YouTube, on Anchor, on Spotify, uh, Facebook, of course, which we've gotten really good feedback on on everything that we did last week, which was kind of just an impromptu podcast. I had fun. And we had a good time doing it. And uh, we've had a lot of good feedback uh, ever since. And so we've had a lot of plans for what we want to do, but Mm -hmm. we waited till the first of the year to do all of this. So um, one of our, well, I would have to say our very first guest would be Wayne Raider with Pappy's Place Barbecue. Thanks for being here. Thanks for Hey, wait, wait, I need to find guys. the right button. Nope, that was the wrong button. <laughs> nope, wrong. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm still learning the buttons on this thing. That's, that's so. quite all right. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you guys have me. Well, we're really, really happy you're here, Wayne. Yeah, because I just um, literally just met you on Monday. You did? I mean, I've you met did. you before that when I was there with Jeff Houghton. He had a mystery hour there. Yeah, exactly. But then I came in Monday. I don't know if you remember me or not, but it was like, hey, it's Wayne. It's me. <laughs> I did. And I seen you walking around the building this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep. I, I came by. I was like, I don't want to go in there and bug him. The place isn't open. But I'll take a look around, take some pictures. That's, that's quite all right. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like you've got a lot going on over at Pappy's Place. We actually do. we got a lot of exciting new stuff coming in. And as I was telling him earlier, uh, right before I left, the whole city of Springfield that tells you what you can do with your mm, building the department, not, yeah. Yeah, they all showed up. Oh, wow. <laughs> all of them. They, all that can't be them. good. Uh-oh. Uh, I fed them. <laughs> I'm going to give them some free cake and stuff. And, oh, and, that's uh, a good way. Yeah. Smart man. And, uh, yeah. you know, do what I got to do. So. That's good. Yeah, usually there's one at a time, I think. So if you have multiples, maybe they're just there to want to have lunch, too, while they're at it, I'm they, assuming. They did. They did. They come in quite often. And, and um, so, you know, I did my best to charming them whether that worked yeah. or not but oh we'll, Wayne, we'll, yes, we'll, it we'll find, we'll, we'll find, find out we'll find out in a couple of nights <laughs> very soon i'm sure very so. soon well there's a lot of activity going on over there obviously you guys just had the uh the springfield uh football association mm-hmm. i believe which is the rugby group. right actually what they did well, they, that's fun uh, yeah the, they didn't break the, anything did they when they were there? No, they're getting good. old, but they can oh. still drink a lot of beer. <laughs> oh, good for you. You know, that's what they're known for. Actually, Pappies oh. that we do have that we're here talking about, uh, 40 years ago yesterday was their day. They had their very first meeting, Yeah, and they did a reenactment really? last night. Wow. And that's it so was cool. Packed, and it was really cool because yeah. they had their minutes from 40 years ago wow. and all that. And eight of the 10 original members okay. that are still alive. That's yeah. what I was going to ask. Uh, yeah. uh, they, they were there. Amazing. That's just Look. such a cool thing about Pappy's. I mean, because Pappy's been around for like 100 years or something like that. And so there's just all this history that 19, happens nine, there. 1903, and I was just telling him, too, that last week I got a phone call, and I just couldn't do it because we closed for the holidays. Mm-hmm. They, they, they wanted to get married in Pappy's. Oh. That's interesting. That's fun. Wow. Yeah. And with all the improvements you've done to like the courtyard and courtyard, the building itself, I mean, it could be feasible it's, then. It's, it looks it looks nice. I mean, when I was there for the mystery hour, it was a really nice setup. That was a year. That was a great so ago. show. That was, was. that was actually when you guys did the uh the the mystery hour, I never I Pappy's has never charged for mm-hmm. a door cuz it's Pappy's, you know, it's just just walk right. in there. If yeah, you've been to Pappy's, it's Pappy's. Right. You don't pay cover charge. No covers. And uh the show sold out. We had that set up more chairs. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> my it, chair sucked into the ground. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was funny because you came over and checked. But my, literally, as I was doing the, because I was doing the audio visual for that one, and I came, I was sitting in the chair, and it started to uh, sink into the down. dirt. Yeah, and eventually, I was holding my hot chocolate, and it fell over into the dirt. Oh no! <laughs> I was fine. The hot chocolate was fine. Oh good. And Wayne came over and checked on me, and we were all fine. But it was just funny. <laughs> it did. It turned out great. It uh, did. It was an amazing time. And I've never seen the courtyard, actually. That's new news actually, to me. It is. We redid it. We totally redid it. And um, How big is the amazing. courtyard? How big is this place? I can get a... Well, Jeff kind of exceeded my limit, which yeah, yeah. we were probably 150. <laughs> wow. So quite a few people. Quite a few people, yes. Unreal. That's yeah. interesting. So it was a lot of fun. That was something... The first time we ever charged at the door, and I think an event like that that's probably suitable. The the cool place about Pappy's is looking at it. It's old. You think, oh, it's a biker bar. It's a rough place. It's not. 
if, if you go there on a Friday night, it's like dinner and a show. We never have a liquor problem. You'll see state senators there, attorneys, judges, the construction wow. workers. We don't have a liquor problem. I love that. And uh, people just love them neighborhood right. bars. It's just it, it, It's been a staple of Springfield for over a hundred years. Yeah, and that's the most interesting part is that it's been able to stay alive. It has. It's had a following the entire time. Yep. Everybody's a regular there. I mean, I used to be a regular there back when I was going, you know, to school over by there, and uh, it was always a place I would go just to kind of get away from everybody. Exactly. You know, and then when it turned about four o'clock, five o'clock, a lot of those regulars start walking in the, the door. They do. Same and man, is still it's there. It's where they're there every day. There, there, there's a doctor. His name is Doctor Warren. I don't mind. He won't mind me telling who he is. <laughs> He's been coming there since 72, since he was going to college in Jury. And wow. he never misses a day. A Him day? and his wife never. Every day? Unless he goes on vacation. He still comes there, gets three beers, and his wife gets a cup of wine. Unreal. And we still get the same same old people that still come. Well, you were neighbors. telling me about the day that you have every year, named after that one guy that was... They had like the, 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 we, the... Prosthetics, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, now, we bought the building... Uh, two months before COVID hit. Yeah. You know, I remember that. I you know, do remember that too. You know, yeah. I, I planned it that way. You know, uh, <laughs> give you a lot of downtime to fix things, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? It couldn't have, I mean, I hate that all the COVID hit and everything, yeah. but I didn't know a hamburger from a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> so it gave us, gave us time to learn yeah. slowly how to wait on people and what to do and yep. everything, but it worked out. And last year was a killer, killer year. And I look for yeah. this year with the new addition of the building we just purchased. I'm I, so excited for that. Yeah, let's I, talk I remember about talking that to you about that whenever I was there with the mystery. I was like, haven't you ever thought about built, buying this building? And you were like, well, the guy doesn't want to sell it. I'm, I'm so I'm did. so glad that that changed yeah. that he wanted to sell it's it. It's just and, been kind of a catch all is what it looks like. It does. Yeah. And see, and it's a beautiful building with, with, with Pappy's no bigger than it is. You know, you go from a patio where you can have 80 mm -hmm. to 150 people and you actually make some money where you can buy new shoes and stuff yep. sometimes. <laughs> yep. uh, but, uh, you know, and then when you move indoors, you only got five tables, you know. Right. Uh, uh, you sell your new shoes because you can't afford to pay the bills. You know? right. But with this new building, you know, that gives us winter activity with bands and everything yeah, and yeah. oh it's a huge business move for you guys so it, it's great it it, it, it it really is and, and it works well with i know we're going to talk more about the building too but i know you you own the manor too across the street I, at bed and breakfast i do oh, own that it yeah. used to be the mary wilson building it's like an icon yeah. Yeah. in the spring well, it still is it's stuff, beautiful right? it, it's, it's and, gorgeous yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, never been inside of it uh me neither but it, I, outside's beautiful oh yeah it's yeah. We spent a lot of money on that. I I have buyers from England and France, and Ooh. a lot of my stuff got shipped over. Um, it's a high end. Uh, you never know who's going to show up. Mm -hmm. I get the Houston Astros show up. No wow. way. Uh, I wow. get I get cele celebrities, and then I kind of do stuff at the Gilroy's Theater Love and that. Juanita Hammonds if they have entertainment that doesn't have to hop on a bus and be in Tulsa or somewhere. I, I get their bookings for that is so cool. that is something we're gonna have to explore a little bit it, more. It, 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 we're gonna have to have Wayne back and just talk about that. I love it, that. It's gorgeous. Yeah. We got limos. We have two stretch limos, mm -hmm. and right now we have it closed just for the fact that Pappy's has yeah. gotten so crazy until we get hired yeah. to help and get through this building. But normally on your Friday nights and Saturdays weekends, it stays full. All you do is see limos going in, in, I didn't so cool. any of in, and, in and out, <laughs> taking people to to uh, wherever w w restaurants or wherever yeah. they want because they don't want to drive. Yeah, <laughs> you know what they generally do, and it's the darndest thing. I've had some of the wealthiest people yeah. in the country stay there. What are they? And they and, and they want to go. They want to, and they're smart. They they, they want to hire an Uber to take them downtown so mm -hmm. they don't have to worry about drinking. Sure. We don't push our restaurant on them because I don't think that's professional. But I just tell them we're going to be over there. We own that. Oh, really? Do you have any drinks? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So next thing you know, they're there all night. And, and then they book two months later to come stay and then oh. go to Pappy's for music. That's so smart. So um, Man. we got a pretty good little thing going you on. Got all this, right. Yeah, you got a lot going on. Let's let's. I'm going insti to institute a rule real quick, though. Let's get reminiscent of the story. Uh -oh. Seth, Seth from Springfield Improv told me last night. 
It's like I was on a podcast once, and they said if you, uh, anytime you slam your hands down the table, because that interferes with the it audio, of course. The microphone. Uh, he was like, they have you have to take a, a shot of scotch, and oh, they dear. had like a scotch bottle out there. And he's like, by the end of that podcast. Nobody else said touch that bottle, but we were all drunk. Oh, <laughs> I was we, gonna say. Uh, so I'm gonna say we need to stop touching the table because unfortunately everybody watching us because yeah. we're recording. If we is could just keep put, like, all of our hands off the table. Yeah, because I, I hate shake. to say I that, but it does no, shake. No, no, no. I totally need to reinforce. I built so with this place we're at, I actually built a lot of the stuff here, so I need to reinforce this table. And yeah, finish well, it's, it, a, I think. it's a box we have it on too. We're all, <laughs> no, we're you really asked about you. You did ask earlier about the guy. That came there with all the scars on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hacker day. So that they. Uh, I wondered what that was. It's hacker a, day. It's, it's a famous day that they've had for years and years. And uh, what happened was he has a prosthetic arm and mm-hmm. the countertop's still there. The scratches and the grooves from him there. And his wife dropped him off there every morning before she went to work, picked him up in the evening for years and years. <laughs> what well, a lady. He got died. Good place to out. He got diagnosed for some type of cancer or something. They gave him two weeks to live, and he lived 13 years past that. Jeez. And everybody loved him. some power. So now they and have a hacker days. When he decided to spend every day with you guys, too. And yeah. that's, that's I huge. never met him. No, right, but at Pappy's a, anyway. Yeah. So, so he was the, your regular there, and that's that says a lot. Yeah. Look what yeah. your food does for yeah. people, Wayne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah but, I yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. So that, It's just know, a good story because you sort of went that day every year, and you just kind of have, you sell some every, stuff. Every and year, and, and it packs out. Uh, uh, people come from all over. I mean, it's – and when we bought it, we bought it. Five days before that happened, oh, we did not talk about know, trial by we fire. We did not know uh, anybody. Or baptism yeah. by fire, right there. It yeah. was. We did not know anybody. Nobody. Jeez. And they yeah. said, "Be prepared for hacker days." Oh, <laughs> I was never so. I was never so lost in all my life. I, I can really yeah. imagine. Well, you Jeez. had a lot going on as soon as you bought that place. You we, had that. We, you we had COVID. Did. You had everything else. Uh, now you've expanded into the building next door. Um, you know, so let's talk about Wayne as who Wayne is. Okay. All right. So before the show, just, you know, briefly talking to you about your past. Um, if you don't mind, if we could get into no, it, to no. who Wayne Raider is. This is really what this show's about. Is, okay. is figuring out, you know, who people are that have come to Springfield and have, and, have, and especially taken over a business like yeah. Pappy's that everybody knows. Uh, but we want to know their stories. Know who you are, though, too. So yeah. where did Wayne come from? What did Wayne do before Pappy's? Okay, I'll just kind of uh, go a quick hit to cover bases. I grew up in Lebanon, Missouri. Okay. okay. My family had a big recapping tire company. Uh, I went to college uh, to become a preacher. Oh. Uh, that did not work out because I, 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 I'm now a, a bar owner, uh, <laughs> but I did buy a church down the street. Hey, there we go. Uh, and then it sold is. it. Uh, he has to finish the story. Right, right. <laughs> and so I quit my dad's store and uh, became a banker. Okay. And, oh. and then I played music and I went to college on basketball and music. And okay. so I ended up starting with some of the biggest gospel groups in the country. Oh, that is right. cool. And then I got contracted out by Leroy Van Dyke that did the Walk On By and mm-hmm. and uh, the Auctioneer song. Man. And I was his drummer. Wow. And I played piano for gospel. So, uh, you know, I've kind of got a musical background there. And how did you meet him then? In Springfield? Who, or Leroy Van Dyke. Leroy, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Honestly, I had a couple beers and I was sitting yeah. at home and, and he's from up around today. He's from Boehner, Missouri. Wow. And I just also got this wall hair to give him a call. So I called him up the message on his phone, not expecting nothing. And, That's and awesome. I, and, I, and I left for like a day and I come back home and I get a, a recording on my deal. This is Leroy Van Dyke. I'd like to meet you. <laughs> no to way. talk about you. Yeah, and then I started. You must playing. have saved that recording for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I started playing for him. And then we end up, he he would contract. we do a lot of stuff with the Grand Ole Opry guys. So I, I played a lot of stuff with the Grand Ole Opry guys. Wow. So Just cool. as like a part of the house band or something like that? Or yeah, that they work? subbed us out because lo- I was the only one local. Everybody else was from Nashville. Right. And talented. Of course, I'm just a hillbilly Missouri boy that fit in, I guess. Picked up some drunk, yeah. drumsticks and, and, then and then I, after. Yeah, and then I went to college <laughs> and then moved to Springfield. And then I owned another 
manufacturing company sold that okay. bought, bought the mary e. wilson building we turned it into a manor mm. okay and then one thing led to another i bought the house next door then the apartments and the house next door to that and i pretty well bought the whole block, block. <laughs> pretty well bought the block and and then pappage came up for sale and I was bored. I was going to say, just thought, why not? <laughs> and why not own a Springfield Let me just tell you this yeah, on. You, know, yeah. you know what? I have a total different outlook for restaurant people now. Yeah. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, not the, I was not the best tipper, and I was not the best customer. <laughs> I bet you are now, aren't you? Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, so I, when I, you bought Pappy's, though, I mean, I, if, I, if I recall correctly, weren't they having trouble finding a buyer? Like, didn't you step in kind of last minute? and Not last minute, but you, after a while, you stepped in and bought it to he, restore he, it. He called me. They called me first. Said, since you already own most of the block, uh, would you yeah. like to buy this? And he priced it ungodly price and i said right. I, no i don't need a restaurant <laughs> no, I don't, no big deal and then he couldn't sell it and then they did it what they call an absolute auction mm -hmm. and i oh, had in my auctioned. mind yeah i had in my mind what i wanted to pay okay uh -huh. and um and I, well, I own Showed it up now. To the, yeah. I, I own it now. <laughs> Obviously, it was the right price. And then I, I, you know, I had that 15 minutes of fame because every TV yeah, station, yep. every newspaper was there. Yep. And then, you know, I remember all and, that. And then you have time to think. It's exciting. And then we get home. My wife and I, which is right across the street, the manor. <laughs> we get home. We're sitting there, and I looked at her and I said. What did we just do? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And but it, wife was on board. You just, three, you just had another three child. Later, That's what it three, was. Three years later, uh, <laughs> my title from being a, a banker to a pretty good musician all that, I'm dishwasher, maintenance guy. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, Humbling, maybe a all little bit. Yeah. Low, low man on the totem pole. Yeah, yeah low, all low, the way to the top man, too. Yeah, so. it, well, yeah I, and, you know... I, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah. yeah, and you've got staff too. I'm assuming, right? Some I do, and, I, and, and uh, we're going to have to have a lot more staff. I bet coming coming up. We well, should talk good. about the the cook. You're talking about the cook, the cook been for the, 27 years. Yes, something like that. And yes. Uh, the one that makes all the amazing food that we all love. You know, yeah. and th and this is so a great. And and if we got time, if you want to talk about it, it it. it's a great story because I I didn't even know about it when we bought it. Ky three comes in mm -hmm. and they they interview my cook. Well. He has no personality, and I was a little worried about him, <laughs> being, him being on TV. Uh, did, right. And and uh, they asked him how long he'd been working there, and he said 27 years, and he's 43. Oh, wow. And, and, wow. and, and, they, said, and they said, well, why did you, how come you've been here so long? <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to work there 27 years. Right. I, I don't even want to work there three years. <laughs> And, but, it, but, but, but anyhow, I'd never heard it until it was on TV and he oh, goes, wow. well, my dad, I was mowing our yard. I was 15 years old. Born in his yard? Mowing his dad's yard where he lived. Oh, okay. oh mowing his own. Yeah, yeah. I so, heard born in his dad's yard. I was like, no, no. wow, okay. That's interesting. Well, he's an interesting guy. He could have been it. doing that too. <laughs> but but he, he was mowing his dad said, I'm let's go to lunch, which his dad liked to eat at Pappy's. Yeah. And. James said that he was kind of getting a butt chewing uh, about getting a job because he's old enough to start buying some of the oh, stuff he wants sure, that he yeah. needs to get out of the job. Right. So they go to Pappy's without the intentions of trying to get a job there. So he, James said that the owner just happened to be there and he said, hey, are you doing any hiring? And they said, yeah, we're, we need a dishwasher. And he said, so I got the job dishwashing. I've been there ever since. Wow. That's, does he live 43. close? Uh, I guess I shouldn't ask that question. But he, he fairly, cl fairly, fairly, cl fairly, fairly close. close yeah, it just seems ideal to be able to like, walk to work and just you know, no, lay back, make the, a pulled pork sandwich. He, 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 he'd get lost. He's better at smoking barbecue <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, so he, so he's the guy that helps do all the smoking he, and everything, he's too. He's the right? backbone. Because all the recipes came with this absolute auction, it, too, it, I assume. It did, right? and I bought the trademark. And actually, the building was both the house was next door. You know, back in the day, they built next to them or lived up above the yeah, building. Right. Yeah, it the was built in 1903. And so of course, the house is still there. So, yeah. okay. um, hmm. it's so there's it's an apartment it, above it as well, then pretty much, and all that. It could. Too, right? We don't. We, yeah. we got it stored Neat. full of mm -hmm. stuff. And I, I, I was actually going to open that as an overflow because the building that we just purchased had was in probate. Oh no! And leans against right. it. And I right. thought that could last for years. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden, boom! The guy comes over and said, "Hey, 
I promised you the business. You want to buy it? And I said, right. yeah. Because it's been empty or a catch-all for since I was in he, college. He, Shoot, that's 20 years ago. Yeah, you know? it's been a n- numerous amount of things. But what he does is he, if you've seen it, you looked in the window. Uh, yeah, I've looked yeah. in those windows a lot. Of, yeah. It's a lot of junk. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of junk. But I bet there's some gems in there, though. There is. I want to do a show of when you're cleaning it out just oh, to yeah. see what's there. Well, yeah, I, I did I talk to you about so you know do doing it. some uh, video of like cleaning stuff out and doing some video showing what it looks like I'm now and before some and stuff after. in that in, that, in yeah. that building myself that I'm like, oh, I, that's got to have history. It's to got it. the pressed tin ceilings. It's neater than all get out. And you got some cool plans for it, too. Oh, my gosh. I am headed to arkansas and maybe mississippi this weekend for okay. back bars i found a back bar for mm-hmm. forty five thousand dollars um, so it's nice holy <laughs> and so the one i really want is in mississippi i found one nicer and i buy a lot of stuff from down there yeah the one i want sixty five thousand dollars so what i want what i get is two different sure. things but i'll probably get the one. Well, you know, yeah. people around Springfield, though, you go to like uh, a lot of different places and you see the bars and, and they're very intricately made. And some yeah. from the South probably made out of some good cypress or something like that. That looks really neat. But the architecture of just those things alone. Yeah. I know people that go talk about that at every single bar. That oh, they yeah. So Linden learns a big or not Linden learn. Linden, Lindenbergs. Lindenburg. Sorry, L- uh, Lindenburg. <laughs> Lindenburg. I have Lindenburg. way too many that's, good things. That's actually mind. one that came to mind because it's yeah. got a bullet hole in it from. Uh, oh really? A, a shootout a long time ago at the first bar that oh. it was actually at. So, so. it's mine. That's so cool. It's mine in the side of the building. There we go. <laughs> so we got to have stories about that too. But but, but 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 you know, in business nowadays, to to succeed, mm-hmm. you got to be different from everybody else. Oh Absolutely. yeah. Everybody does yes. the same thing. Absolutely. So. Just like what I sp- I spent a lot of money on the patio, I'm sure, but I got it back because it's so cool. Mm, it um, is, it's very unique. You know, so you have See to have something events. different yes. than anybody else does, and that's how you succeed. Man, and that's in, that's incredible. That this may be a good one to cool. end on because well, we're, I think we're we need right to have you come time. back more. Yeah. We'd like to follow your story. As I'd we're like going. for you to come see the manor. We got a lot a lot to offer. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But the manor for sure. I'm tickled to be here to have you guys have us. You know, because we're really trying to bring that back. Because we're the oldest restaurant in Springfield, oldest continuous liquor license, mm-hmm. and yeah, you guys know as well as I do, Springfield tears down all their good history stuff, and there's uh, not much there. So, yeah. so I think Pappy should be protected. I, I do too. I and think I you're getting like to that point. Been. It's been insulated. Well, and you know, I know like the Holland Building downtown that has like a federal landmark uh, status. It's that may be something that Pappy, maybe sure. you guys should apply for that. We we are on. We're not on the national register, but we are on what they call the Springfield. Yeah. Heritage Society, Society or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Side where at least you get on the National Register. I mean, this I is a that. this is a very unique spot. It's been around for long enough. And yeah. It's it I'm needs a, to be protected. I was going to do that on the manor, but they want twenty thousand dollars just to get oh. it started. It, you're looking at over a hundred thousand dollars. To, to, okay, to, I'm to, sensing to, fundraiser. We'll wait on that. We could yeah. do we could yeah. do a fundraiser <laughs> for preserved pappies. Well, yeah. Well, the other thing I wanted to talk about <laughs> so is can we do a GoFundMe page you while, can. While, you can. While, 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 while we're can here? You well, can. And yeah. we also, you know, we we saw on your post that was just what last weekend about the the new place. You're right. going to have bands that you said you've already got maybe a hundred already lined up for this. Over a hundred. Like that. Now that's insane down. to me in it itself. Is. Because yeah. bands don't usually seek out places to go play at. They I, seek you out, though. They do. I don't have to call one band. In fact, while I was here, Papa Green Shoes, which yeah. is a big one here yeah. in Springfield, mm-hmm. I just booked him. Yep. Uh, I was yeah. witness to that. That's uh, awesome. I, I, I get them like that all the time. I get them. Uh, I've got... I. Dino, the famous piano player, I manage Dino, yeah. so yeah, he'll yeah. come up. So oh, really? I, I've got some, yeah. Well, we're, we're, some at, the, we're at time, so we're going to have to, we're well, definitely going to have to have Wayne back. Wayne, time yeah. flies, especially when you're having fun with this. It and this is. Has been, this has been an absolute pleasure for me uh, getting to know you. We're really thankful you came to spend some time with us. We plan on doing this more in the future. I'm Great. actually going to be out there, you know, hopefully in the next week, uh, doing what we call a Matt's Moments. That's a, a segment where I go out and I just do a pitch for this show. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to come out there and do something a little different, I think, okay. is what I've got planned. Oh, yeah. You'll see some guy That'd out there fun. that looks like me. Okay, okay. I'll, uh, <laughs> Film me. Uh, sounds good. And I appreciate you guys having me here. Yeah. And uh, anything I can do for you guys, let me know. Same. But I, I appreciate, appreciate you having us here. Absolutely. Right. Same to you. Thanks again. And uh, come back and see us here on Exploring the Ozarks, Wayne. We appreciate you, sir. You bet. All Love right. to be here. You bet. Thank you, guys. Thank you.